When you are finished digitizing or driving a field boundary, you will be asked to assign the field to a relationship known as the grower farm field. This simple three-tier structure is used to organize and group field boundaries. You can also add additional field and grower information. The question is often asked, how do I properly define a grower farm field relationship? Most often, the answer is dependent on the management of the fields. The grower is usually defined by the company or family that owns or farms the land. Farms are simply user-defined groups of fields. Usually, there is a natural order that determines how fields are clustered together and associated as a unique farm. Fields might be distinguished according to geography, management, or ownership. For instance, we may have a group of fields that are clustered together in one area and another group of fields that are clustered further down the road, so we assign them two separate farm names according to their locations. It could be as simple as East Farm or West Farm. Or the fields might be distinguished according to ownership as to whether or not the land is rented, leased, or farmed on thirds. Nomenclatures and processes for grouping fields and naming farms will change according to the region of the country and systems of management. Sometimes the name of the grower has the word farm in their name, which can be a little confusing on whether that title should be attributed to the grower or is the farm. For instance, the grower might be Richardson Farms, Inc., and the farm, Richardson Farm. The field is then the single, unique boundary that defines and identifies a particular cultivated area. If you find it difficult to assign names from the top down, grab a piece of paper and work from the bottom up, starting with the field name, then determine the grouping of fields that would constitute the farm, then assign it to a grower. Once you enter a grower and farm into Summit using the Add Grower or Add Farm button, the system will remember the names and give you the ability to select from a drop-down list the next time you enter a boundary. Not only does this speed up the input process, but it ensures that the growers and farms are not accidentally duplicated because of typos and misspellings. Once you have your initial field boundaries collected and have established the grower-farm field relationship, you will want to set up a SyncNow account and start adding spatial records to the fields.